Designed to meet exacting Swedish requirements, the innovative Saab 37 Viggen Thunderbolt multi-role fighter was for many years the backbone of Sweden's air defense, and today five of the Flygvapnet's frontline flottilger continue to fly the type. The first Viggen prototype made its maiden flight in 1967, and the initial production AJ-37 attack fighter, 108 built, flew in 1971. The other major variants comprise 27 SF-37s for all-weather overland reconnaissance, 28 SH-37s for maritime reconnaissance and 17 SK-37 operational conversion trainers. Between 1979 and 1990 the Flygvapnet received 149 second-generation JA-37s for the interception role. During 1993-1997 Saab converted 48 AJ-37, 25 SF-37 and 25 SH-37s to AJS-37 standard to provide integrated attack, fighter, and reconnaissance capabilities. Funding problems restricted the upgrade and a common standard was not achieved. Despite this program, the attack slash recce Viggins were rapidly replaced by JAS-39 Gripens and only one wing, F-21, operated these AJS-37s in 2001. Meanwhile the JA-37 has been kept continually up to date, with the most recent program referred to as the Mod D standard. This adds an updated PS-46A radar and a new weapons interface and stores management computer that enables the use of AIM-120 AMROMs. The first upgraded JA-37 was re-delivered in 1998. The JA-37 currently equips four wings, each with two division and squadrons. Ten of the Flygvapnet's 14 surviving SK-37 trainers have been converted into SK-37E Storvigans, Jammer Vigans. These will be tasked with electronic warfare training for Sweden's armed forces and operational EW support for Flygvapnet combat units as well as type conversion for all future Vigan pilots. Electronic warfare equipment comprises various systems installed in the airframe, as well as advanced U-95 active jammer pods, U-22 slash a jammer pods and KB chaff and flare dispenser pods. The Vigans were finally replaced by the Gripens in 2006.